for some reason I should be surprised, but I guess I'm not. I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot of news about Gunpro since I haven't really done a whole lot for a while. But it looks like the guy from Mosquito was an unfair. The, the mall shooting, shooting is, is causing, causing anxiety among retailers who are already under tremendous strain due to rising crime. Retailers are worried that smash and grab robberies and now a mall massacre will drive shoppers away. Shopping malls are considered soft targets, meaning they're hard to protect and are vulnerable to acts of violence and terrorism. Now the National Retail Federation is pressuring lawmakers to do more to protect shoppers. All options need to be on the table, including helping us with more security, doing more information sharing about risks, about robberies. Meantime, there are new disturbing details about the Texas shooter. He identified as an incel, a young man who considers himself unable to attract women. I don't care about getting a girlfriend anymore because I don't believe women are capable to genuinely love a man. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, women are capable of loving, men are capable of loving, people are capable of loving. It. I mean, like, like, damn, dude. Like, and, and, and incel, like, stuff is, like, on the extreme right wing, right wing. I think it was, like, up to, like, black pill, which, and this dude probably is, because, like, black pill, like, incel people, they go to the point of killing people, especially women. He also posted this photo with a waitress. The caption reads, how to drive a guy crazy. Eric Toller is a researcher with the investigative reporting website Bellingcat. He says the shooter posted his disturbing profile on a Russian social network. As an incel, it appeared that he had uh, vitriol or anger specifically toward women. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, in one of his posts, you can tell he definitely um, was very bitter. The shooter also posted shirtless photos with white power tattoos, including Nazi SS lightning bolts and a swastika. He also shared a photo of the Allen Outlet Mall and indicated he was tracking its busiest time, Saturday, the same day he opened fire. But he did post on this. Okay, so he was planning to do a mass shooting on when there was the most people there because he wanted to kill the most amount of people as possible before he died. That is messed up. It's very obscure to an American audience, very obscure Russian social media site where no one else is reading. There's no content moderation. So it's basically hidden on the Internet for all eyes who, who would care about this. Meantime, America is embracing the lone survivor of the Cho family. The six year old boy's parents and younger brother were all killed in the mass shooting. A GoFundMe has topped one point four million dollars. A GoFundMe. Nice. One point four million dollars. That would definitely help the kid for a good part of his life. He has also been set up for the mom and dad who lost their two precious daughters who love dressing like twins. The Mendoza family asks, please pray for our now broken family as the mom remains hospitalized with gunshot wounds. That's sad. Just needless suffering because people just want to be hateful and this could easily be, pre be prevented, but Republicans don't want to actually prevent it. 